Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to implement the second screen of this design. In the first part of this video series, I created this screen, the home page. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, the link will be in the description below and in the card in the top right corner of your screen. Today, I felt that it was necessary to explain the approach that I will use to navigate from the home page to the calendar page using the bottom navigation bar. But before we start implementing the navigation, let's do some refactoring. Let's adjust the color of the currently selected item in the bottom navigation bar. Then here, let's replace this colon by list view to avoid overflows on smaller screen. And finally, we will move the homepage class from the main that dart to its own file. Let's also create a new file for the calendar page. That's all for the refactoring. Now we need to go back to the main page to implement the navigation between the different pages. Let's start by creating a list of all the pages that the app will have. Probably you are asking yourself, why a list of pages? Let me explain. Here we have the page list that we just created. Each item in the list represents a page in the app, or to be more precise, a class that will build the page. For example, here, the first item with index 0 is the home page class that is responsible to build this screen. The same way, the fourth item with index 3 is the calendar page class that we just created. It will be responsible to build this screen. Since we will not build all the pages of this app, we put null for the other pages. Now here, the bottom navigation bar has the same structure. Five items and each one has an index from 0 to 4. So when the user taps on an item in the bottom navigation bar, we retrieve the index of this item and assign it to the selected item index variable, as we did here. Then, the body property of the scaffold, instead of receiving one specific class, as we did here, will receive pages selected item index. That means, when the user taps on the fourth item, the selected item index will receive the value 3. Then, on set state, the body property of the scaffold will receive the value of the page list at index 3, which is the calendar class. The same way, when the user taps on the first item, the selected item index will receive the value 0. Then on set state, the body property of the scaffold will receive the value of the page at index 0, which is the home page class. I think you understand the approach now. Let's go back to the code. As we said, Let's remove this home page class and replace it with pages selected item index. We should be able to navigate between the pages right now. Now, let's continue with the implementation of the calendar page. 